Today we will learn about query in MS Access. The database of any organization may contain huge amount of data. Moreover, it may consist of multiple tables. When the number of records in a table increases, it becomes an uphill task for any user to extract specific records from that table. MS Access provides you a solution for this problem through queries. A query is a database object that helps you to retrieve and view information from one or more database tables that meet a specific condition or criteria you define. The information retrieved on the basis of specified criteria and the query is stored in a separate table called the query table. Let us recall what is the importance of data type. Before moving forward, let us first talk about what is a query. A query is like a simple question that you ask to find specific information from the database. You can use queries to view, change, summarize and analyze specific data in different ways. In our daily life, we make several types of queries to get specific information. For example, which students are scoring above 85% marks, which students live in sector 4 Chandigarh and so on. You can make quick decisions depending on that criteria. Let us take an example. In the student table, you have records of class 12 as well as class 10 students. Suppose you want to extract the records of only class 12 students or the records of class 10 students scoring more than 70 marks. You can find this with the help of queries. Queries are made on tables and the result of a query is also displayed in the form of a table. The result which you get is a group of rows and columns with a set of records that matches the given condition. MS Access provides various types of queries. Select, Parameter, Cross Tab, Action and SQL. Structured Query Language. Query. Do you know a select query retrieves data from one or more tables using the criteria you specify and displays the records in a data sheet? You can also use a select query to group data and to calculate sum, count, average and other types of total. Let us discuss how to set a relationship between tables. Relationships are links that associate a field in one table with a field in another. In Access, you store data in multiple tables. To bring the information together, we need to define relationships between the tables. Once we have defined relationship between the tables, data from both the tables can be used by query, form or report. A relationship works by matching a field with the same name in both tables. In most cases, these matching fields are the primary key from one table that uniquely identifies each record in a table and a foreign key in the other table. Let us take a quick quiz. Define relationships in a table. A foreign key is a value in one table that must match the primary key in another table. To create a relationship, make two tables, one with the name, students table, that holds information about students such as roll numbers, names, class, address, city and state, and the other with the name, maths table, that holds the information about the student's percentage and grade in maths. Open one of them in data sheet view. In the ribbon, click either on the Table tab or Database Tools tab and select the Relationships button in the Relationships group. The Show Table window opens up, displaying the list of tables in the database. Select the required table and click on Add button to add it in the Relationships window. Likewise, add more tables to the Relationships window. Click the Close button to close the Show Table dialog box. Drag the primary key of the parent table example students table and drop it over the same field in the child table example math table. The edit relationships dialog box appears. Click on create button. Access creates the relationship between the tables. A line linking the two tables will appear indicating that both have been linked. Click the save button on the quick access toolbar to save the relationship. OK, know that activate the Queries tab if your relationships are based on queries or activate both tab if relationships are based on both tables and queries. Let us share an important tip with you. 
after a relationship has been created between two tables you must delete the relationship before you make modifications to the fields on which relationship is based to delete a relationship click the line that connects the tables and press the delete key let me tell you how to create a query in design view Access provides two ways to create a query using the given options present in the other group on the create tab they are query wizard query design the design view gives you more control over a query it allows you to create a query from the scratch follow the steps to create a query using query design option open the database and click on the create tab select the query design button in the queries group the data sheet view changes to the query design view and the show table dialog box appears at the bottom of the screen select the record source of your query a record source can be one or more tables one or more queries or a combination of the two select the table and click on add button or double click on the table's name here we have selected the table students After selecting the table click on the close button the main query window is divided into two panes top and bottom the top pane is the object relationship pane that displays the table selected for the query in case of multiple tables the field lists are joined by a line these join lines link key fields that share the same field name The join lines indicate table relationships that relate the data in one table to the data in another. The selected query table displayed a list of fields which you can add to the query. The bottom pane displays the design grid. You can add fields to the query by dragging them from the field list to the design grid or by double click on the field. The design grid is similar to a spreadsheet with columns representing each field in the query. let us know more a cross tab query uses row headings and column headings so that you can see your data in terms of two categories at once all right if you want to know more about queries in ms access visit http://ms.microsoft.com/in-us/access-help/examples-of-query-criteria-ha01006661.aspx let us know more the sql view is used when a user wants to enter sql statements to create or change query Let us understand the design grid. Field row of a design grid displays the selected fields from the table. Table row displays the name of the existing table. Show row displays a check mark. The fields with check marks display the information when the query is being run. To hide the field during run time, uncheck the check mark by clicking on it. Sort property is used to filter the data either in ascending or descending order. It is optional. criteria property contains the condition this is used to filter the records for the query output or property can be used to set multiple criteria in a query after adding the table to the object relationship pane drag the fields from the students table window which you want to display in the query design grid Specify the criteria and click on the run command in the results group on the design tab. Access retrieves the relevant data from the table and displays the output in data sheet view. Now save the query using save button located on quick access toolbar. Save as dialog box appears. Enter the suitable name for your query in query name text box. Click okay button. All right let us know more a parameter query is a type of select query that prompts you for input before it runs the query then uses your input as criteria that control your results for example you can design it to prompt for two dates access will then retrieve all data with values between those two dates let us understand how to specify simple criteria Queries are built by defining a specific search condition that is a criteria. Criteria specified in the criteria row of the design grid. 
Specify the criteria value and the data will be filtered accordingly in the query output. Let's understand it with the help of given example. Select the query in the navigation pane that you want to modify. Now click on the view button on the home tab. Select the design view option from the drop down menu. Selected query opens in design view. To view the records of class 12, double click on the address field and class field in the field list. Move the cursor to the criteria row and type the criteria equal to 12 in class field column. Click on sort property in the address column and set it in an ascending order. Click on close button of query window to save the query. A dialog box will appear asking you to save the query. Click on the yes button. Specify a name to the query and click on the OK button. Double click on the query name in the navigation pane to view the query output. Can you quickly reply what do you understand by criteria? Alright, let me tell you about creating a query in Query Wizard. To create a query in Query Wizard, click on the Create tab. Select the Query Design button in the Queries group. The new Query dialog box appears. The Simple Query Wizard option is selected by default. Click OK. The Simple Query Wizard screen appears. Select the table that contains the data in the Tables or Queries box. Now add the fields that you wish to have in the query result. To add a field, Select the required field in the available field box. Click on single forward arrow button or just double click on the field. You will notice that the selected field is shifted to selected fields box. In case you want to add all fields then click on double forward arrow button. It will shift all fields at once. You can remove the selected fields from the selected field box. To remove them one by one, click on single backward arrow button or to remove all at once, click on double backward arrow button. Once you have selected the required fields, then click on next button. A new screen appears. Simply click on the next button. In the next step, you are asked to enter a new title for your query. Make sure that open the query to view information radio button is selected by default. Now click on the Finish button. You will observe that the query name is visible in the navigation pane. Let us know more. An action query is a query that makes changes to or moves many records in just one operation. There are four types of action queries. Append, Update, Make Table and Delete. You should back up your data before running an action query since it changes the data. Let us know more. A criteria is similar to formula. It is a string that may consist of field references, operators and constants. Query criteria entry is also referred to as expression.